Hello everyone, it's Melissa, the M from the MNH of Bespoke Hairstyles, posting my first ever styling video blog. Um, I wanted you to see what we're going to try to recreate. So if you like, then obviously you watch through, and if you don't like, then watch another video. Um, but this is just to help you quickly style your hair. Um, and I wanted for you to see what the style was like. It's a bit of a fringe there, a quaffed push through bit and then um, inverted braids, and then I've got an accessory, and then it's braided in. So that is what we are going to try to recreate. This is the first time I'm doing this, so do bear with me if I fall off the camera focus, the camera focus, because I'm new to it, I'll be back. Um, okay, so I thought it'd be a good idea to show you the style, and then kind of unravel it for you, so you can see how simple it is. Um, that the back bit was just kind of in platy, inverted platy, and then the top bit as well was had inverted plaits just to hold down the style. Right, there we are. Throughout the time you're going to be trying to style your hair, please, please be aware of whether you're pulling on your follicles because your follicles are much more important than the style. So don't try and pull it too tight. Um, this is the first time I'm doing this, so it's going to be a bit messy maybe at the end, but um, I would just improve on it. This is just a guideline for you to style your hair right, for people who are struggling, that is. Right, I have sectioned the front and I will hold it loose and I will use my two hands at this point. I'll come close so you can see it. Collect hands close and push. I'm pushing to the right because I'm right-handed and I like that this style to fall to my right. Guide with your fingers and feel what you want. I want it like this, falling like this. If you want it falling in a certain way, just start again, like this. I am not happy with that. I want to start again, feel through. A lot of the times when I'm styling, myself, not clients, I would shut my eyes to feel what I'm doing. Don't know whether anyone does that, but I do that a lot. Right. Okay. And then I'm happy. Make it into a, just kind of a ball. Can you see? Just so it's secure. I hope you can see what I'm doing. So I don't know whether I'm in focus. Okay. And then take the sides of your locks or your hair for loose curls and you're trying to secure your fringe basically so you're doing an inverted braid just holding through the sides if i find there are loose locks this is what happens when i'm styling if they're loose locks i will eventually just tuck them in i won't start again when you're braiding in please think about your follicles are you pulling too tight? Could it cause hair loss? Please do not try and make it so tight that your follicles are inflamed. Right, normally I would check the mirror, but because I'm trying to give you kind of a guideline for you to see, I'm not using mirror. So it might not look as I'd want it to look. And then at the end of it, of the inverted braid, braid in the plaits to the end. Now, if it's likely to unravel, use a band. It's not going to matter. It's not going to show up that you're using a band because you're tucking in. And then check to see whether it's all in. And it's all in. Let me see if there's a loose one. Like there, there's a short lock. So. I wouldn't try and I would just I wouldn't try and like start again or anything like that I would just tuck it in and if it fell off I just tuck it in again so that's the front you could decide this is it you want to go out and that's that and that's still a nice look now I want the back to be slanted and fall like that so I'm going to braid in that direction so you take sides and you pull them in, don't pull all the hair in. Sorry for that 
movement. Um, don't pull all the hair in because you are then going to lose the big um, finish, the big kind of before ends. Um, that's what I want, is I want it quite big. Um, that is another short lock that is not going to be pulled in, just tuck in. And that's it. And then feel, and then use the braid to bring the hair up. Um, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to use it to bring it up so it's got a bit of a lift. That's it. And then I would just braid it to the end. And as I said, you could use a band um, if you felt it would unravel. But I'm braiding it to the end because I think I need it to lift the finish, the free bits. And that is it. That is all I would do. Dun, dun, dun. Right. Then I'll check to see, is there a problem? There's that little one, tuck it in, and that's it. And then I would just accessorize. And that's it. That is uh, my first video stop me vlog. I hope you like it. Um, let me know if you try the style, if it works, and if you've got any tips or anything to help me get better, because I'm still learning, then please, please stay connected. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, everyone. Thanks. Bye.